morning. It is currently around 7.50, so almost 8 o'clock. I am doing a day in the life of me. I had to think about the video. <laughs> I'm doing a day in the life with me. I'm doing a couple of fun things today, like going to the market, going to hang out with some friends, going to Home Goods, of course. And I wanted to bring you along with me during my day. This is going to be so good. I'm currently about to get up and get ready to go to the gym. My gym fit is currently on. I'm about to finish all this, put some um, shoes on, and we're about to head out. So let's go. So I decided not to go to the gym this morning um, because I wouldn't have had enough time to do what I want to do and make it to the opening of Home Goods at 9:30 because there's a particular item that I want at Home Goods and I do not know if it will be out of stock. And I'm riding around looking at houses. Do y'all ever do this? Like you just ride around and look at nice houses and be like one of these days like this is gonna be mine like that's i love like that's my favorite pastime sometimes like when you're just like wasting time like you just go to the nice neighborhoods and you just look at the houses look at the houses colors look at the dogs in the yard look at the structure from the outside of like what you want and like i like envision yourself living there so that's what i'm doing in past the time 8 47 looking at nice neighborhoods in tali so you guys, I am finally at Home Goods. They're about to open. People are honestly waiting outdoors. So this is what I wanted. How cute. Let's go to the price. 119. So you always go to Home Goods and you always find something that you don't need. And I found these throw pillows for my bedroom. Literally the perfect color. I've been looking for something like this for years because I'm tired of my pillows not having the chop and not looking like adultish with the like what what's the what's what I have going on? Like the feathery pillows that I have now. And so I found two of them. I think that would be perfect to go in my room and to make it all come together and look a little bit more adultish and grownish. Perfect color too. So I'm currently at one of my favorite places, Target. Don't know if you can see in the background, but you can talk about the balls. <laughs> I'm currently at Target. Um, just doing a little drive up. I ordered some storage bins online because I really want to organize the decor that I have in my garage a lot more. I'm too embarrassed to even show what my garage looks like because it's such a mess. And I have all the stuff that I bought from Home Goods in my back seat. <laughs> See how the Target guy literally like came up to my car as I was on the video. He was just looking at me and I felt so embarrassed. I was like, oh, the life of us YouTubers, like, whatever it's life you don't know me i don't know you thank you um but yeah i'm about to go ahead and head to the farmer's market see what they have there and after that i need some breakfast some food because i'm hungry and i'm gonna be on my way home Y'all, it is so freaking hot. I just left the farmer's market. Eliano's is in front of me, so I'm about to catch some breakfast before I head home. But I want to do like a quick rundown of what I got. This is honestly like my first time like as an adult. I don't think I've even as a kid, like I've really been to the farmer's market. So I'll say this is like my first time as an adult going to the farmer's market by myself. So the first thing I got was citrus orange juice. I honestly had no idea what I was doing when I went to this farmer's market. Everyone was just like looking around like, walking around getting meats and stuff and i was like oh orange juice and it looks so refreshing and so good and like the orange juice is actually orange um and i was like this may be like organic this comes straight off of the 
like vine type of orange juice. So let's give it a try. Very fresh, can't wait to try that out. The next thing that I saw was like these pastries and I'm a sucker for pastries. So I got some blueberry scones. Thought that looked really good. I got some jelly. I didn't. I don't know how this jelly is gonna taste. So I just got the small little miniature one. This is raspberry ripple. Um, it contains organic raspberry, sugar, pectin, vanilla, and lemon juice. So super excited to try this out and see how this jelly is. And then I also got a quiche. Well, this is kind of like a quiche. It's actually a frita, fr frittata. So it's the English cheddar and bacon frittata. Um, I am actually going to warm this up in the morning because I think that would be so perfect for like my Sunday meal. So I don't have to worry about going out in the morning for breakfast or anything. So this whole concoction is my Sunday breakfast. That's pretty much all I got. Like I was there for the sole purpose of like taking content mostly for um my actual full-time job of like things to do in Tallahassee is the video that we have coming out um this week and so I was like it'll be perfect if I just go ahead and you know get there and take it and this is actually helping me explore a little bit more of Tallahassee I've never been to that farmer's market I see that farmer's market every almost every Saturday when I come this way and I was like I'm gonna go to that farmer's market one day like I just want to try it out because I see it every Saturday let's just go let's see what the vibe is Let's see what it's all about. It really enjoyed it. Like the, the vendors were really nice. Like, you know, they were insightful. There was um, a mix of people there. So next time I want to go with like a friend so I can make it a little bit more like enjoyable. You talk, you see. They also had like meats. They had, you know, produce. They had um, a variety of items there. They also had some wellness things like mushrooms. You saw me take a little um drink of whatever that mix and concoction was um but yeah like it was it was a vibe i like that like my saturday is being very productive and i'm i like that because i have been so lazy on sundays and on weekends and i just really want to like do a little bit more on my weekends because that's only literally we work from monday to friday like that plan is already scheduled out the only thing only time we have to really do what we want is after work which by that time i'm tired i'm ready to like lay down somewhere and on the weekend so try to soak up and enjoy my weekends and be a little bit more productive and socialize a little bit more on the weekends and actually enjoy little moments you know so i'm officially back home and let's do a haul of the things that i got from home goods and from target so, starting off with these pillows. I got and purchased these pillows for my bed. I thought they were so cute and I love a good chop number. So that's like the main reason that I purchased these. I bought two of these and they are 24 by 24 inches, love those. So I think for a queen, I would really only need two of these to make my bed look full, especially at the size that they are. This was basically $35 for them individually. I'm obsessed, I can't wait to throw these on my bed and just see how it just makes my room come together even more. So I also got some non-slip hangers. There are 35 in here for $15. Um, I have a color scheme going on where I only do like gray hangers pretty much and it was like these are perfect because I've been like struggling to find hangers to hang my clothes during wash week and it's been horrible. Um, also got this big storage bin from Target. It was like $18. I really need something to put like all my decor stuff in this is how big it is i need something to put my decor stuff in that is literally sitting in my garage in tubs on top of each other stacked up and i am like slowly gradually like getting individual bins to put them in um so it can be look a little bit more cuter look a little bit more organized until i find an official like storage solution or storage racks to put those on top of so the start of this whole show is my coca-cola cooler i am getting my sliding doors fixed i believe i mentioned that i'm doing a little bit of home renovations and i wanted to have people over especially during the fall and i thought what better way 
so I can entertain them in storage unit. Y'all, this is the cutest thing ever. So you can lift this up. You can put it back in here. And lift with one side to grab the cooler. Lift up the other side to grab some drinks. And then also on top of that, it has the little Coke bottle thing over here. So you can like pop a Coke. And I think it's so cute. Like this is so stinking cute. Like look at that. Look at that. And then it rolls and I can stop and like push the pedal down here for it to um, hunker it down in place. It is just the cutest thing I have ever seen. And Novella Noir had one. And if you know me, she's like my favorite social media girl of all time. And so when I went into Home Goods and saw this, I was like, I just have to have it. This is literally the most stinkingest, cutest thing ever. It is currently one o'clock and I'm about to get ready to go get dressed and bowl with my friends. So I took a quick shower, thrown a little bit of light makeup. I already have an outfit in mind, in my head. So let's do that and let's get ready. So this is the fit. I'm about to head out. This top is from ASOS. The undershirt is from Target, I believe, or Walmart. And these shorts are Abercrombie. I'm gonna be wearing the same um, tennis shoes that I was wearing earlier, my Hoka's, obsessed. And we're about to head out and let's go play some bowling. I haven't played bowling in years. So let's see how this, how this goes, y'all. So I am on campus. It feels so weird being on campus on a weekday because I try to avoid this place at all cost. So I'm in it with my friends. Hi. Hello, hello. I'm vlogging. Maya hates my vlogs. Hi, Maya. <laughs> so we got steak fries, Maya and I. Um, with the what is this? The blackberry bramble. Maya got the. Hmm? What'd you get, Maya? The proof RTD. Okay, and Sophia. I got a blonde ale. Okay, Maya returned that because she didn't like it. She was like, "Would you completely hate me if I gave this back?" The guy was like, "I have no feelings towards you, but like." <laughs> but yeah, we're just sitting and eating, and then we're gonna head to bowling. It is time to bowl. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have to go find a ball, don't I? Oh, we do have to do that. That's a thing. Where do you get the balls from? They're behind okay. <laughs> Go, Sophia! <laughs> Go for it. Oh, come on. It's okay, you got another try. I cannot be the best one. Let's go, Maya. Okay. One down. Oh, we're in our third game right now. Uh, Sophia's in the lead currently, followed by me, followed by Maya. But I mean, but it's right now. I'm telling you what's right now, okay. Sophia. This is. I was horrible in the beginning, keep in mind. But keep in mind it's also been like 10 years since I've bowled. So I had to get the hang of it. I just got a strike. Look at that. Look at that strike. So I'm not doing bad now. I was. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Y'all, look at that score. I won my first game of this whole thing. I want ice cream. It only took me three times. <laughs> so I am leaving the union. I cannot believe I won that last game. So proud of myself. I think we individually like won one game. So we played three games and I think we won, each of us won one out of three games that we did play. We're about to head to Cold Stone and get some ice cream and then I'm gonna be on my way home. I forgot to film mine because we were having a nice little chat about life and the apocalypse. Just normal stuff. But yeah. How do you like ice cream? It's all right. It was a little sweet. We all got. Um, I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I finished this whole thing. We all got we birthday cake sweet. with like sprinkles, and I had a little rise of dazzle with the Oreos. But it was a little sweet, yeah. And then plus, me and Maya ate earlier, and Sophia did not. Drink. It was drink. <laughs> drink. You had like three cups. I only had two drinks. Two drinks. Those drinks were strong. I know. They were. I will give them that. They were a little strong. The tolerance is down. <laughs> 19 year old Sophia would be pissed. I mean, but at least it's not as bad as brunch that one day. I will never talk about that. As always, I forgot to do an extra, but thank you so much for spending the day with me. I tried the frittata, it was good, but the orange juice, the freshly squeezed orange juice that was actually orange like literally chef's kiss i had my mom try some and she was like this is the best orange juice i've ever tasted i've never had like that much of fresh oj so i'm definitely going back um next saturday to get me some orange juice because oh delicious 10 out of 10 but if you've not yet subscribed why haven't you join the family it only takes one second to click that button down below and do not forget to ring that bell so you can get updated oh what was that my words so you can see updated on all the videos i have coming at you and until next time my loves bye you